Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today we've got a couple of products that I want to try from I'm Lee. So first off, we've got the Solid Nail Glue Gel. You've got your instructions on the side. 28 days plus long lasting. This is HEMA free. It is actually free from quite a few toxins. I will leave a picture on the screen now showing you of all the toxins that it is free from. It's a really great formula this is, especially for people that do suffer with allergies. So you get 30 mil. You have got your ingredients there if anyone wants to screenshot those and have a look at them. So this is the tube. You've also got your instruction manual in the box in all different languages also got pictures as well nice detailed instructions warnings on the back i release contact details at the bottom there so we're going to be getting some nails on my left hand today can't wait and these are the tips that we're going to be putting on so this is a box of 432 nail tips 12 different sizes these ones are stiletto, that is the number there, JP004. Now I have already sized my tips up ready, but I'll just quickly show you what the tips look like. But as you can see, some of them are missing because like I say, I've already sized my tips up. I really like that they come on like a stick like this, so they're so much easier to size up. So when you're sizing your tips up, you want to make sure they fit from side wall to side wall. If you feel like you're having to push down on the tip to make it fit, then that is too small. It literally needs to just be laid on top to fit side wall to side wall. If you find your in-between sizes, always size up. Go for the bigger size because you can always make them smaller. I do find with stiletto tips, they're quite squared off in that cuticle area. These aren't too bad, but still a little bit too square for me. But it's not an issue because they can be adjusted to fit your cuticles perfectly. I'll show you quickly how to do that. So, as you can see, when I pop that on my nail, can you see where well, it's not quite curved enough to fit my cuticles? So, to make that fit, all I need to do is get a file and just round those corners off very slightly don't over file just keep checking as well make sure you're not over filing a little bit more perfect so let's have a quick look at these tips as you can see, they are pre-buffed already on the inside, so that saves me a job. I really like that. They're a really nice thickness. They're very, very flexible, so they're going to fit all nail shapes really nicely. I really like the shape of them as well. I find with some stiletto tips, they tend to want to kind of bow outwards around here. But these are lovely and straight. really, really like them. Love that shape. I don't know about any of you guys, but when I've got stiletto nails on, I feel really badass as well. I do like stiletto. Right, so my tips are all ready to go. I have already prepped my nails apart from this one. I just want to show you my prep routine very quickly. There's no point me showing you doing all five because it's the same on every nail. So I start off by using my cuticle pusher, pushing back the cuticles. Just releasing them off that nail plate. Turn it round, get the scraper, get rid of any dead skin that's stuck to that nail plate. You need to get rid of that dead skin, guys, because if you don't, that is one of the main causes of lifting, nails popping off, all the things that we don't want happening. We want these to last as long as possible. 
I'm not putting no pressure on that nail plate. I'm just skipping it over. Like that. Then we're going to get our cuticle scissors. These cuticle scissors, guys, have been an absolute game changer to my nail prep. They're on they're from Sheen. A couple of pound, I think that's all they were. And I get really close without actually cutting my skin. Like that. Look at that. Perfect. I will leave the link for these in my description box below if anyone's interested in those. Right. Now we're going to buff the nail plate, simply using a buffer. Like that. Now we're going to give all the nails a clean with some isopropyl alcohol, just get rid of any dust. Now I'm going in with my bond system. So the first thing we're going to use is a dehydrator. This is the Nao Nails dehydrator. Since I've been using this, I have no issues with lifting, no issues with nails popping off. Great bond system this is. Let that air dry. And then we'll go in with the Ultra Bond Acid Primer. Make sure to not get this on your skin, guys. So what I normally do is I go down one side, down the other side, and then I strip down the middle. Down one side, down the other side, strip in the middle. Now, you don't have to go right into that cuticle area or right up those side walls because I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but let me try and show you close up. This does disperse itself over the nail. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that or not. Let that air dry. Now we're going to go in with a base coat. Bounce that into that cuticle area. Swipe right down one side, right down the other side. Then pop them in the lamp to cure. So that's the base coat all fully cured. So now it's time to get some tips on. So I'm going to pull out this lamp. I love this lamp, guys. You know, because it hasn't got a button. It's just a sensor. So the minute it feels your fingers coming near it, it turns itself on. It's great for doing full cover tips and jewel forms as well. That's so right. We're going to check this solid nail glue gel out now. I've never tried a solid glue gel in a tube before. So... Curious to see what it's like. So I'm just going to pop. A little bit in that cuticle area. Press it down. So this is the non-stick glue gel. So it's not even sticking to my glove guys. It's great stuff. This is great stuff. Then I'm going to lower that into my cuticle area at a 45 degree angle and then just keep pushing down on that tip until it's fully attached to my natural nail. Any excess you can just pull out with your nail. This is amazing. It doesn't move either. It's great. So the minute you stick that nail down, it's not going anywhere, look. And then pop that in the lamp to cure. So I'm just going to give that a flash cure in my mini lamp for about 30 seconds. And that will just hold it all in place. There we go, that's all fully cured. As you can see, I did use way too much. I didn't need nowhere near that much. 
a little bit really does go a long way with this stuff guys on to the next one how quick and easy was that wow this stuff is a game changer let me tell you i'm loving this i've tried quite a few different tip gels now this i like very much So when I'm pushing this down with my finger, I'm just making sure I'm getting it right up those side walls, making sure there's no extra bit in that cuticle area. Again, lower it into my cuticle area at a 45 degree angle, pushing it down, making sure all them air bubbles are out. Remove any excess that's squidged out around the cuticle, which isn't a lot. Make sure it's nice and straight and cure it. So I'm just going to show you me doing this one more. So get it as close to that cuticle as you can. Make sure you're pushing all them air bubbles out. Remove any excess. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then pop it in the lamp. Oh, can't you see? I'm getting better at knowing how much to put on. That one is perfect. Look, look at that one compared to the pinky. It's really hard to judge how much you need, guys. But once you've done a couple, you kind of get the gist for it and how much you're going to need. Right, guys, so they've all been flash cured. I'm now going to pop them in my big lamp for 60 seconds and give them a full cure. That is them all applied. Wow. They fit so nice in that cuticle area, guys. Look at them cuticles. There's no lip. I don't even feel like I need to file in that cuticle area. Come on, please focus. Can you see that? They fit so nice in them cuticles. I love these tips. It feels so good. So I'm just going to give them a little file at the sides and just neaten that tip off. Obviously, where they've been attached to the um, thingy. I don't know what you call it. The row? <laughs> I don't know. If you feel like you've got any bits in that cuticle area, which I really don't feel like I've got, you can just whiz around that cuticle area with your file. You can either use your hand file or you can use your e-file, whatever you prefer. But I just don't feel like I need to do them cuticle areas at all, to be honest. Another thing I like about these tips, they're already pre-buffed, so you haven't got to go over and buff them all now either. They're all ready now for some decoration. Now, I do want to make the most of these being clear. I've seen a couple of like clear designs that I want to try. One being a full-on bling design. A little bit of glitter in the cuticle area and full-on bling. I think I'm going to try that today. And then in a couple of days, I'll take that off and we'll do another design that I've got in mind. So, need to just get some glitter out and then we'll get cracking. I've pulled out these two glitters. This is not actually what I was going to go with. I was going to do a gold design. But then I saw this hollow rose ultra soft mylar and thought, ooh. <laughs> So we've changed it for a gold design to a pink design. So I'm starting off by applying a base coat first. Right, then I'm not going to cure that base coat. Into that uncured base coat, we're going to add a little bit of this. that 
And then we're going to take some of this sugar plum from Charlie's Nail Art. And I'm just going to add that into where the gaps are between them pieces of mylar. So once I've applied all the glitter, I pop them in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and that's cured that glitter all in place. Guys, look how beautiful that glitter is. That mylar is stunning as well, isn't it? Love them. So now we're going to use the solid tip gel and I'm going to use this as a gem glue. It does say on the website that you can use it as a gem glue, so I thought, why not try it in this video? So I've just added a little bit to the middle of my thumbnail. I'm now using a brush just with a little bit of water on. And I'm just thinning that out around the edges just so it doesn't leave like bulky bits where the gel finishes, if you know what I mean. Just trying to make it all smooth over that nail. Once I've got that all nice and smooth, I'm not going to cure that. I'm now going to go straight in with my top coat. Now this is a no wipe top coat and the reason I want to apply this straight over that gem glue is because it's going to save me having to top coat around my gems after I've placed them and cured them and it's also going to stop any like tackiness around my crystals. So I'm using AB crystals, they were just cheap ones from AliExpress but they look amazing. They look like really good quality but they were really really cheap. Now, I will say, guys, I feel like these tips would benefit from a builder gel because they are quite soft and flexible. But I didn't feel like I needed to use a builder gel because I was using this tip gel as a gem glue. It gave my tips a lot more strength. So, that is my thumb all finished. Look at them crystals, guys. Don't they look really shiny? So, I have cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now on this ring fingernail, I'm going to be doing half a butterfly made out of crystals. And then on the middle nail, I'll be doing the other half to the butterfly. But I did that off camera. I did all the rest of the crystals off camera, guys, because the video is getting way too long to leave it all in. So that's that one done. Give them a cure for 60 seconds. And then this is what they look like all done. So that is the thumbnail. Look how shiny they are. Crystals are beautiful. They're only from AliExpress as well. Really, really cheap they were. That's my butterfly. I'm loving that butterfly. And that is all the products that we've used today. I absolutely love the tips. I love the shape. I love the feel of them. This solid tip glue gel is really, really good. I love how the tips don't move once you've got it applied before you put it in the lamp and cure it. A lot of the tip gel, what I've used, when you go to wipe around that cuticle area, the tip ends up starting to like lift, but these did not move. Oh, it's an absolute game changer, guys. If you haven't tried this tip gel, then you need to try it. Everybody needs this in their collection. So what do you guys think? Do you like them? Are they not really your cup of tea? I am going to leave these on for a few days then I'm going to take it all off and we're going to do something else on these as well like I said earlier I'm going to make the most of them being clear so that is a little clue of what I want to do next on these so everything that I've used today guys I am going to leave links for in my description box below so if there's anything that you've seen me show that you really want to try all you got to do is click the link and it will take you straight on over to that product I have got a discount code for the imily website I'll leave that pinned in my comments along with the link to the website. I just want to say a huge thank you to Imelie for sending these out for us to take a look at. Thank you so much, Imelie. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.